Political analysts predict that Xavier Kasukawe, a former cabinet minister and ZANU PF commissar, will fracture President Emerson with Ngogwe's support base, which will increase the chances of opposition leader Nelson Chamisa. The presidential election is scheduled for August 23rd. Before the general elections in August, Kasukawe, who is now living in self-exile in South Africa, announced this week that he is going back to Zimbabwe to run for president. Political analysts claimed in separate interviews that while Kosukowe does not have a chance of winning the election, he might hurt Mungogwa's chances and help Chamisa. Professor Eldred Masanandia, a political science lecturer at the University of Zimbabwe, told the Newshawks that Kosukowe's perceived popularity is a result of the media's exaggeration of his plans to run for first citizen, but that he no longer has a strong connection to zenu pf grassroots supporters to pull off an unexpected victory in the upcoming elections. In turn, Kasukawe's admission into the presidential election. He continued, will boost Chamisa. I believe that Kasukawe's participation into the presidential contest is being overhyped by the media in terms of how highly regarded he is. Except for on Twitter sites, which represent a tiny portion of the voters, he has been cut off from the general public for half a decade, and whatever connections he may have had with communities have significantly diminished. The political dynamics, whether at the national level or in relation to the two major political parties, are unlikely to be significantly and compellingly changed by him in light of this. On the remote possibility that he makes a difference, Professor Masananga hypothesized that Nelson Chamisa and his CCC will gain some support by splitting the electoral base of his old party. Zenu PF Kasukowe's entry into the presidential race, according to Stephen Chon, a professor of world politics at the School of Oriental and African Studies at the University of London, won't significantly act as a spoiler, but it might result in him making startling revelations about internal Zenu PF strife. Thus, Kasukowe's presidential run won't affect the outcome of the vote. The well oiled Zenu PF machine is not on Kasukowe's side. His candidacy is intriguing, but not because he'd be a spoiler, but rather because of what he might have to say about Zenu PF's internal problems. He added. Vivid Guid, a political analyst, projected that Kasukawe's presidential bid would significantly reduce Mnangogwa's support. If he believes that he will be anything other than a distant third, whose contribution at best is to force a runoff between the two leading candidates, CCC and Zenu PF, he may be misjudging his influence but he is more likely to erode the traditional ZANU PF support base, which was once his home, worsening its perilous situation and increasing the likelihood that it will lose this election. A critical point is that his late but unspectacular arrival into the campaign was known about or influenced by newly registered voters. ZANU PF is where Kasukawe's supporters are because of his political past, he claimed. When Kosukawe was appointed political commissar and a crucial member of Robert Mugabe's final cabinet prior to the long-standing leader's dramatic overthrow by the military in 2017, he had achieved the pinnacle of his political career. In January 2018, Kasukawe made a brief trip back home before being detained on suspicion of corruption. The accusations against him were ultimately dropped by a judge, but not before he departed the country once more. He was formerly the Minister of the Environment, Water and Climate. As ZANU PF's political commissar, Kasukawe worked with Ndengogwa and Mugabe's wife Grace to depose former Vice President Joyce Mujou. The coalition, however, broke down when Jonathan Moyo, another former minister, and members of the G40 group joined Kasukawe and Grace and turned their guns on Ndengogwa. During the 2017 coup, which was supported by the Zimbabwe Defense Forces under the command of General Constantino Chiwenga, who is currently Vice President, Kasukawe, Moyo, as well as former Cabinet Ministers Walter Mzembai and Patrick Zuyo fled the country. The former ministers are wanted for arrest on numerous accusations, including corruption. The government issued a warrant for Kasukawe's arrest in October 2020 and sought his extradition from South Africa. If it is not cancelled before he returns to launch his election campaign, he may be jailed. He has been fighting to have it cancelled. While a group going by the name of New Alliance Zimbabwe claiming to represent Kasukawe's political party on social media. The 52-year-old politician has not yet said if he will field candidates for the August 23rd Parliamentary, Council and Senate elections.